the amount of water that was coming into the boat, which I had to I had to bail some out to get the boat like um, buoyant and 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 off and running. Guys, welcome back, and thanks for watching our channel. So you've caught me today uh, in the Donnelly River region. So I am currently at the Donnelly River boat ramp, and this episode is going to be pretty different. I'm actually doing a solo tinny trip down the Donnelly River, and I'm going to camp at the river mouth. Um, so hopefully there's nobody there. There is a few boats. Uh, there's a few boat trailers parked here in the car park, but there is a really big hut community um, halfway down the river. So I'm hoping that it's just people um, out at their huts for the weekend. At the moment, uh, the weather is playing ball, um, but I'm probably gonna hit some uh, crappy weather later on this evening. Uh, apparently there's some rain and wind coming in. So I might not stick around too long in the morning, but I'm really excited to get stuck into it this afternoon. I've just driven the four hours uh, from Perth. Uh, it was a really easy trip. So yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into a few things. I've got quite a bit to do in the boat um, before I get it in the water. So I'm gonna get cracked, crack into that. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. So, boat's in the water, and I am headed that way in just a moment. I'm um, just taking a minute to just stow a few things back into the boat, um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna hightail it to my camp first, just so I the the weather's pretty good. So I'm just thinking I can quickly set up while uh, while the weather's um, still on my side, and yeah, hopefully it's not too windy down there. It seems to be better in the river system itself. It's quite windy today. Um, but yeah, let's just go and see how we go, eh? Hey? We'll catch you there. So we're on. Um, beautiful out here, like the sun's just popped out. So hopefully all good. I'm just cruising. Um, yeah, I think I'll just cruise on down, see what's, uh, see what's around down the end of the river. Um, and then yeah, try and find a spot to pull up and uh, get fishing. Should be, should be good for some brim on this trip. Um, I'm also packed for a little bit of ocean fishing. See what the, uh, see what the river mounts like. See if I can uh, access the ocean okay. And um, yeah, I might uh, walk over there later and um, flick a twisty into the uh, into the surf. See what happens. But um, for now, it's going to punch on for a little bit longer. So 
So uh, that came up on me a little bit quick, but um, I think I've found camp. So here we are. I'll just moor the boat up for a second because I just kind of want to have a bit of a, a squeeze through here um, and just suss out what's a good spot. I know the wind is going to shift overnight and it's going to smash me. So it looks like the water level comes up a little bit as well. So I'm just going to see if there's like a higher spot to set up the swag. And yeah, amazing. This is sick. Well, this is it. Look at this. Great little posse in through here. Looks like someone's been having a fire just down here recently, but cleaned it up nice. That's an awesome spot for the swag. I'll probably get the swag right in there. Um, be out of the wind tonight, but yeah, this is sick. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull the boat uh, down here. And um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna get stuck into some fishing straight away. So I'll catch us in just a little bit. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chill, I'm gonna have a beer, I'm gonna have a bite to eat and a little fish. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll, I might even start having a squeeze at sort of what's up around that way. Um, oh, and something very cool, I'm gonna show you in just a second. Cheers. Mm. Amazing. So before I lose all the light and before I lose all the battery, so there's this little track down to, check this out. Sick. Oh, that's mad. Like a little fish cleaning station there. Um, and yeah, I don't know, like it's like a little, little camp people have been camping here obviously um, yeah awesome pretty cool spot so obviously the locals must come down through here this is actually I found this when I first pulled up um, I walked up into here walked through here I walked through this bit and then yeah, popped out just here. And um, I also think they, they've they got like a little, they've got a little area up there um, that they must use to uh, to tether their um, their boats as well. Oh, this is good. I wanted this. That's good size. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a couple of like bigger um, I've got some big logs with me, but I'm looking for a couple of like wet uh, rocks or bigger bits because I just want to make a little um, area around the fire, but haven't been able to find much. So I'll, um, I'll go for a bit more of a look in a tick. Home sweet home. Swag's all set up. Um, look, I might peg it down. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll see how I go. Um, uh, there's, I've got some, got some guy ropes and stuff in the boat. I don't know. I might peg it down. It's in a really good spot. Um, some of this brush here, some of this, is just protecting some of that wind. And then I, we've got this big ridge line here, and the wind's going to come this way. Now, middle of the night wind is actually going to be coming from this direction so I've sort of tucked in behind um, that bush a little bit 
I was considering the other spot just on the other side over here, but it's a bit slopey. I can't really find like a really good flat bit. So um, yeah, anyway, swag's all set up. Uh, I've thrown in an extra sleeping bag tonight because I'm really not too sure if I'm gonna get cold or not. Um, normally I'm sleeping next to Emma. So normally I don't get cold at all. Um, but I also bought along a pair of thermals. So look, it does get cold down here this time of year. Like, like we're talking somewhere between, I don't know, somewhere between five and eight degrees overnight tonight. So it will be cold. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, hopefully I'm not freezing my butt off. Here we go guys, first black rim. He looks a uh, pretty small. I'll, te I'll just check size anyway, cause I gotta be 25. So, and I'm absolutely gonna be keeping him if it's the go. So, yew, here we go guys, first one. Well, he's definitely a tiny one, that one. He's going straight back, straight back in. So, good thing is they're biting. Uh, we've pulled in, I think four so far. Um, and yeah, one, one size. And then the other three have been quite small, so um, I will uh, I'll keep punching because one's not going to do for dinner. Hey, there we go. There we go. Oh, uh, it feels like a baby. Feels like a small one. I'd say this one's pretty small. Not putting up much of a fight. Yeah, there we go. So there's plenty of them out there, but um, at the moment they're pretty small. So I'll keep on, uh, I'll keep on cracking on. Come on, now, just chill out, chill out, chill out. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> he took, a, he had a go at it. Yeah, we just need him a bit bigger than that. <laughs> Tell you what though, it doesn't take the fun away from it. It's a lot of fun. I love catching brim. Um, I don't know, I don't hear, uh, for some reason, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe people do talk about it, but I don't feel like I hear um, like a lot of people talking about how fun it is to catch brim. I don't know, maybe, maybe they do talk about it. Maybe I don't know. Um, try and keep the rest of that bait on there. Uh, yeah, I, I think they're great fun to catch, even when they're small. I think they're wicked. Um, you know, the little ones just put up just a little tiny bit of a fight, the bigger ones put up a real good fight. And um, I feel like if, if, if the bites are on with brim, I feel like you're gonna know about it. As soon as you hit the water, it's gonna be, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds before you start feeling those first bites. And then boom, you know when they take it, cause, cause yeah because that big wide mouth of theirs opens up gobbles and then they and then the, the hooks in so yeah i don't know I, I really like i really like fishing for them it's good fun I am off on a walk. So I am walking down to, out to the ocean, to the river mouth. I've got the big rod, which I haven't used yet. Um, I've got some, uh, some lures and some twisties and some all types of stuff to have fun with. I've actually got, I've also got a whiting rig. Um, and uh, I've got a whiting rig and some uh, bait. Um, as well, so I've got some squid with me. Um, I think I'm dressed pretty appropriately. I'm ready for a bit of rain if we cop it, but man, it looks stunning at the moment. Check this out. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Whoo! Damn, it's so good. 
there's actually a little walking trail just in there, but I decided to walk along the edge. I just wanted to see what was going on. Um, it's not too far out to the ocean, but it is a little bit of a walk and I'm losing light. So I'm probably going to be doing some nighttime fishing, which I've never done before either. <laughs> just have a go of my perspective right now. This is incredible, man. So river mouth's just here. I think it can break over there or it can break up here. I'm not too certain. Um, wow, it's so low. Like I'm basically walking on it in the middle of it. Um, I'm going to cross just over that way. Um, it peters out anyway, so you can actually walk around the top of it there. But I'm going to cross over that way and then just go for a flick out on the ocean here. Uh, I've got no idea uh, what I'm, how I'm going, but actually hasn't been very, like I've only been walking like five or six minutes. So it's probably only, I'd say to get to the ocean here, it's probably only about 15 minutes from my camp. Um, and it looks really shallow through here. So I'm glad I didn't like bring the boat up. Oh man, look at the moon. Oh wow. Oh, I'll tell you what. This is amazing. Look at this. It's absolutely crazy, man. Guys, we're back. Um, <clears throat> it's gotten pretty dark, um, but yeah, moon's out and it's pretty light and I've just got the fire cranking. Um, I've just been down uh, at the ocean having a fish, but uh, nothing really going on. I got a bit cold, it got windy, um, and it was a bit of a walk back to camp. So I've come back um, and I'm going to, uh, here we go, I'm going to um, get going on dinner in a minute so I'm probably just going to stoke that fire up get some food going on and um, yeah you'll probably see me once I'm eating some dinner um, I've got the fire going we actually have brim on look at this here we go hey look at that I have not eaten a terrible amount today so this is going down Mm. I actually really like brim. I think it's a good little fish. I like catching them. Um, and I actually think they taste pretty good. So, here we go. Brim wrap on the Donnelly. Steak's on at the moment. And I thought, I'm just going to take a minute to wrap up my thoughts on my first tinny trip solo. Um, man. It has been amazing. What a great experience. I'd only say this though, I think, and I, I'd, I don't know if anybody does solo trips or like, or maybe your first solo trip. Maybe if you think back to your first solo trip. So anybody watching, think back. Um, man, I just, I feel like, yeah, cause we camp out of the car so often. We're always camping out the car. I mean, everything is just at an arm's length. So sort of trying to figure out all this gear, bits and bobs, trying to film everything as well. Um, and yeah, just there's, there's still a bit to suss out, I reckon. Um, so I don't think I've fully got it sussed out. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with everything that I took along for the trip. So that's a good thing. Um, I think just like where stuff goes and how you camp and everything, I just got to sort that out. But anyway, so far it's been amazing. And I also would probably say that um, one night for me doing this kind of trip is probably not enough. I probably feel like I need to maybe um, come out somewhere like this for two nights. Um, just so you can spend the first afternoon um, a little bit more chill than I did today. I, I've just been on the go. Um, I was fishing. You know, you're sorting out your camp stuff and then, you know, you want to do some more fishing, you want to sit down and drink a beer, you want to go down the beach and do some stuff. Oh, it's a smoky fire. Um, and 
yeah, you want to do all that sort of stuff, but but then you also want to. Um, uh, I'm going to switch to a red light, guys. Sorry, this uh, I just had a, a bug in my ear. Um, there we go. Red light's on. Um, anyway, I hope you can see me a little bit. But, yeah, you just want to have a bit more time. So I think probably next time, I'd probably try and have a little bit more time out here. But, I don't know. I Like, I definitely love the shared experience um, with Emma. Um... You know, this is this is really great, and this is great for my brain. Um, this has been awesome, but I really do love the shared experience of of camping with Emma. It's it's awesome. So, yeah, but I don't know. I think this is this is the first of a few tinny trips, I would say, um, and first of a few more solo trips. I think I'll try and put uh, maybe a couple in a couple a year in the bag. I reckon um, maybe a summery one next time, but. I'll take the car, but yeah, anyway, cheers legends, bloody great. Okay guys, so, um, since I last saw you, so much has happened in the last couple of hours. So, just so you know, um, it is at the moment, and. It is quarter past four in the morning. Um, so I went to bed at about, uh, I went to bed at about sort of 9.15 um, and the weather was really nice. I did expect some rain and I knew there was gonna be a little bit of wind. So like there was an expectation that that was coming in. Um, and oh, look, probably at about 10 o'clock, so uh, just as I was probably nodding off, man, it, it absolutely bucketed down. And I mean bucketed down. Uh, and it bucketed down for probably about two hours straight. So some, somewhere in the middle of that, um, I managed to get back off to sleep. So, that's, so that was one saving grace. And I woke up at about, oh, it must have been 2 a.m. I woke up and man, the wind was insane um, at the river mouth. And so don't forget where I'm standing now, I'm at the boat ramp, which is about an hour from the river mouth. Um, so the wind was coming in and I couldn't, I just couldn't help but like shake the feeling. I wanted to go and like quickly just check on the boat because I'd anchored up in the sand and dug the anchor into the sand. And then I'd done a second like mooring line with a bit of rope, um, like just in case. And so I went out, I went out there to check the boat and I like, I, I don't know, part of me says I wish I didn't, but then I think I've still made the right call. It was getting absolutely slammed. So the wind was sort of pushing like, you know, not, not large waves, but pushing water up over the top of the boat. And I was getting a lot of water in the boat. And I was, I was actually, I actually, I, I got a little bit freaked out. I got a little bit scared, I'll be honest with you. So I was getting a lot of water in the boat um, and there was a fair whack of water in the boat. Um, and then, <laughs> When I woke up to go and check on the boat, I noticed that um, my swag inside was drenched. So either the floor's not waterproof or it's, or the, the canvas is not that waterproof. But I mean, compared to our 23-0, where we've, we've camped in some heavy rain, um, yeah, I I was I was sleeping in a in a in a in a little puddle of water as well, and I was like, oh man, I'm I'm getting smashed here. So I went and I figured all that out. Went and looked at the boat. The boat's getting water in. The wind's coming. Everything. I'm like, oh my god. Like I like I knew the shacks were just down, and I was like, oh, do I just pack up camp and and head on back to the shacks? Um, I just thought might be safer, and, the, and it was it was getting a bit wild out there. Um, I'll be honest. So I made the absolutely stupid and crazy decision to pack up camp, 
set the boat off in that in that weather. Um, oh man, really silly now that I'm standing here thinking about it. I'm kind of glad I'm talking about it. It was this. It was a very silly thing to do, but I went past the shacks and I was like, you know what? Like, it's not that far to get this boat back to the boat ramp. I knew it would be less windy up here and I'm right, like it's not windy at all up here. Like it's still raining, it's been raining the entire time. So it's been raining since, it's been raining since 10 o'clock last night basically. Um, so yeah, so I made a really, really bad decision. I made a really silly decision. I came all the way back um, in the dark. Uh, yeah, no nav lights just with my collection of torches that I've got. To be honest, I, it, to be honest, it, was, it, it wasn't it was too bad, but um, I, in the, proce in the process of packing up camp and, um, and then driving the boat back to the boat ramp here, um, all of my clothing here, you can see all this, clo all of this. That's my down jacket, my thermal, uh, my, actual rain jacket and my pants and stuff that's all completely absolutely drenched so I am thankful that I had this um this dry bag here there is a couple of campsites down this road uh, what I'm thinking of doing is heading on down there um, I might just pop the awning out I might set up my uh, chair and oh, I, might, I might just see if I can lay back and have a bit of a kip in the chair. I've got my sleeping bag. My sleeping bag is dry because I never used it. I kept it inside the dry bag and I didn't use it. So I might just wrap myself up in my sleeping bag on my chair and I might just, um, I might just have a little kip there, I think, for a little while. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped up at the moment. So yeah, that, that was a really silly decision, but I, I, I honest to God, at the amount of water that was coming into the boat, which I had to, I had to bail some out to get the boat like um, buoyant and 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 off and running. Uh, when I when I just put uh, when I just pulled the bung just then, oh my god, yeah, um, crazy. Not not the trip that I thought I was going to have, but I I did expect weather tonight. I just I don't know. I just I didn't expect it to be like that. That was absolutely savage. Anyway. Um, I'm gonna pack myself up here, get all this wet clothing into the car, and um, and then I'll go drive and find a little camp spot just to sit back and chill out for a little while until until sun comes up. Looks like looks like I'm having an early day. <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted. Good morning. Um, doing a bit better since the last time you saw me at uh, I believe it was about 4 a.m. or quarter past four. Or quarter to four, I can't remember. Um, God, I'm actually keen to, to watch that video back um, from a few hours ago because, um, man, I was I was amped up on adrenaline. Um, my body is so sore at the moment. Uh, just yeah, so much adrenaline coursing through my veins. Just getting the boat um, from camp back up the river in the dark. That was um, yeah. I won't do it ever again. That's for sure. Um, yeah, so at the moment I am at Snotty Gobble and I got here basically straight from the boat ramp last night. Um, I think I got in here at about like quarter to five. Um, I l had a really small fire just to warm up. I, I actually had the idea uh, to get the mattress out of the swag. I put it on a tarp on the ground and put my sleeping bag over the top of it um, and crawled on in at sort of, I don't know, it must have been around 5.30, quarter to six. And uh, I think I actually got, I actually got like a little bit of sleep, which was quite good. It's, it's, um, it's just gone 7.30 now. So I'm gonna take this coffee with me I'll hook up the boat and I, th I think, I'm not too certain, but I think either I'm going to head into either Pemberton or Nanup. Um, I'm going to chase some breakfast and yeah, Whew. that was exhausting. 
Um, not the way I thought this trip would turn out, so. But you know what, sometimes that's just trips, man. They just don't turn out the exact way that you plan them. I did expect weather, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think I expected what I got. Right, so while I'm uh, letting the awning do a drip dry, um, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown of Snotty Gobble, because this is actually, technically I didn't even camp at the end of the river, technically. I mean, technically I camped here. So, anyway, this is Snotty Gobble. Um, lots of the sites are, are like this. Uh, you get a fire pit, um, which people have left some wet logs out. Uh, there is a toilet block just over there. Um, yeah, most of the sites are like walk down as you can see. So you walk down and pitch tent at the bottom down here, but they've got like a communal uh, area over here with a water tank too, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there we go. Oh, looks like there's actually a little bit of firewood just there. In the corner, someone's left a bit of bag of firewood. Um, and yeah, I don't know, there's a sheet drying out, weird. But yeah, you can't drink the water, you probably have to boil it. Um, but I mean, nice little area if you had like a, a few people, a few crew. I'll oh, check that firewood out. Oh yeah, like a full bag of Bunnings firewood someone's left there, which is, and it's nice and dry, which is good. Um, but people just trash these pits though, look at this, it's gross. Like that's gross. That's just feral, feral behaviour. Um, yeah, I don't know, I feel like it's got that vibe. Um, I feel like it could get a little bit on the feral side, but there's nobody here. And there's like 11 sites, 11 tent sites. Um, I just pulled in with the car though, and I've, I can get the car, and this is site 11. And I got the um, the boat and the car in, um, backed in pretty nicely. So I don't know, if you wanted to pitch a swag or something, you'd be able to just be able to do it right here where the car is. So you can see it's pretty, it's pretty big. Boat's trashed, full of water. Uh, there's heaps of water down in there still, mainly from the rain last night, but also from uh, the waves sort of hitting the sides and crashing into it. So anyway, I'm gonna sort this awning out get going. Rightio guys, so I have uh, just driven from Donnelly River. Uh, I passed through Nanup for a bit of breakfast. I rolled into Donnybrook, and this is a shout out to Donnybrook. I rolled into Donnybrook, I needed a hot shower, found one at the Transit Park, uh, I needed some firewood, uh, got some locally caught, locally sourced firewood as well, um, some Jarrah, which is beautiful, and I also got um, a couple of towels because Emma called me and said that we needed a couple of towels for this camping trip that we're going on next. So yeah, shout out to Donnybrook. I've punched through there and I've just ended up, I'm actually at the moment, I'm in the Wellington State Forest. So I'm, uh, I'm wrapping up this uh, episode and uh, continuing on to meet Emma at Honeymoon Pool. We love, we love camping there. So we're just gonna get a nice relaxing night. I need a relaxing night after last night so last night was pretty full on um but yeah i i i'm i have three big takeaways from it though um and i'm going to wrap up this video with my three takeaways so takeaway number one is i reckon um you should never let the weather um stop you from going on a camping trip so i'm just gonna wait for this car to go past so don't ever let the weather stop you because if I looked at the forecast I looked at it for a few days and I ummed and ahed and I was like no I'm gonna go because I mean you know like what's the worst that's gonna happen it's gonna piss down and I have to leave and that's exactly what happened um, mind you though it was a lot worse than I thought it would be and it got a little bit dangerous um, and the boat uh, the, the, the boat situation at the river mouth there got a little bit dangerous so I'm, I'm glad I made the call um, when I did uh, takeaway number two is I would say that always trust your gut because I was so um, oh, I just couldn't shake that feeling at 2 a.m. I was like I need to get up it's pelting down outside but I need to get up and I need to put on some gear and I need to go and check the boat out because 
I just, it, nothing felt right. It didn't feel right. Something was going on. So I am, I'm glad that I got up and I'm glad I went and looked at the boat because making that decision to get out of there at that time um, was, uh, you know, was a really, um, yeah, was it was a good decision. And I, I guess takeaway number three is, um, I guess, you got you got to trust yourself um, 100%. Um, and last night, I feel like I really needed to trust all my instincts. Uh, driving the boat up the river without nav lights, without any lighting at 2 a.m. was really silly, but there was enough light from the moon. I could see the river quite clearly. I trusted what I was doing. Um, I didn't make any silly decisions. I just you know, took it really easy up the river and I got back in one piece. Um, was it silly? Yes, but I trusted myself. I knew that I could make that happen, particularly as I got up past the shacks and I was like, look, I, I can do this. I'm going to go. I'm going to go for it. I really wanted to get back to the car. I really wanted some dry clothes. I really wanted the awning out to just get out of the elements. Um, I was soaked all the way through. So from that outer shell, um, I soaked my down jacket and I soaked into my thermal, so I was wet. Um, and my track pants and uh, Ugg boots, uh, uh, sorry, track pants and wellies that I was wearing, completely drenched. They're in the car, they're, they're completely drenched. It looks like someone's just dunked in a bucket. So the amount of water that came out of the boat um, this morning uh, was uh, human. Like I would say, I, I would say I got, yeah, five, six litres out of the boat um, this morning. Uh, and last night trying to bail water out of the boat um, to, to get it going. Um, yeah, that was, that was touch and go. So um, it was wet, it's been crazy, but still definitely wild experience. And I got an amazing afternoon yesterday, which, um, which was absolutely awesome. So catching brim and having that awesome afternoon on the river, um, at the river mouth was definitely worth it so thanks so much for watching the vid guys and we'll catch you in the next episode <laughs>